Hey guys, welcome back. I hope your garden's doing good. I hope you're having a good evening. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what we can plant in the second half of the gardening season. If you're a beginning gardener, um, just because some of your plants have so, uh, kind of slowed down on production or whatever, you still got another half of a year roughly to plant something else. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, how you know what you can plant. And we're going to kind of go over some of the uh, things you can do over the winter that will help your garden come next spring. Now, I'd like to show you guys a couple things in my garden. I'm going to try to keep this short, but uh, just a few things that, that have really been going good, I guess. So, we're going to get into it. Now, I told you guys I like walking around with a cucumber and walk around the garden. This is a summer dance, and they are just, oh my God, they are just so good. And, uh, you know, I've been taking them to work and everything. I, I highly recommend them. They're a hybrid summer dance. The first thing that I'd like to get into, though, is a different kind of cucumber, and that's my Armenian pails. I'd like to show you these. Now, i got to buy a cucumber here. This one here, it's probably a little too big. I kind of let that one, that one kind of got away from me. Um, this one, in a day or two, it's going to be about right. This one here, eh, it, it's probably going to be chicken food too. So, <clears throat> it's all right. What I found with these Armenians, if you pick them too late, to me, they're just a touch bitter. And so, if you get them when they're pretty thin, and uh, they really have a good flavor. Now, if you're wanting to plant something else in the last half of the year, it's pretty easy to figure. I don't know where everybody's from, but all you have to do is know when your first chance of frost is going to be. Okay? And then all you got to know is, is whatever seed or plant, how long it takes to mature. So like me, I'm going to plant some beets and some carrots. Beets have about a 40-day maturity rate, okay? Our first frost comes somewhere around the first part to the middle of October, the first chance. So it's the first of August, so I've got August, September, and say a week into October, okay? So that's, we'll just say 60 days. So I've got plenty of time to put in some beets and put in some carrots. So wherever you're at, whether you're up north or down south, that's kind of how you figure it out. Um, now a couple things to that though you want to watch. One, the days are going to get shorter, so it's going to take maybe just a touch longer for stuff to grow. It's not going to grow as fast. And two, it's going to start cooling down. So you don't want um, to put in a, like a really warm weather crop if you don't have enough days left to do it broccoli, uh, cauliflower, lettuce, that might be some of the things that you want to think about putting in. Um, like I say, beets and carrots, I'm good on them. Now let me show you another one. I'm going to show you where this guy came from. Uh, this is my summer dance, and it's it's done really, really well. I got taken her bite. Um, you can see them here. And like I say, I take them to work, and you got a little small one there, you got one there, you got one hiding back there, and I just walked through there and looked, and I've been picking two or three a day. <laughs> you only get them for so long, so you got to take advantage of it, and uh, so... That's part of it that I enjoy. Some of the stuff in my garden, I've been kind of fighting the zucchini and stuff. Uh, I had a zucchini plant die the other day. Um, it, it's just part of it, but I, it, it, it is what it is. Now, real quick, I want to show you one other thing, and I kind of pre-did some of this. I've been canning some beef stew and some chicken and things like that. So I came out to the garden, and I got some potatoes. So... 
Uh, I just want to show you real quick how easy it is when you plant them underneath that hay, how easy it is to get to them. So I'll show you this. That I got out of there, and them over there, I got out of there. Now, uh, something like this, it's still got leaves on it and everything. I'm not going to mess with that. I'll still let that go. But vines like this, this plant is dead. So, you know, all I got to do is just pull this up and pull it back. And then no digging. Get you some potatoes. I'm sorry about the camera work here. I can't. I can't dig and hold the camera. I'm sorry, but it is. It's really, really simple. Um, it is. It was really dry this year, and so I think that did kind of affect some of the potatoes. But I've got plenty out of there, and I still haven't messed with the uh, potato towers yet. So we'll see how that's going. So, guys, um, remember, there's still plenty of gardening left. Uh, <laughs> you know, just check into it. Now, over the winter, here's what I like to do. I don't like to leave any bare soil. So, I'm going to plant some alfalfa and some clover in some of my garden. The benefits of that, real quick, that's a green manure. Um, the benefits of it are the roots go really, really deep. So it helps break up that clay soil. It's an all organic fertilizer. Uh, you know, uh, it's going to bring them nutrients up to the top that normally wouldn't get there. You plant it in the fall. In the springtime, you just mow it down. You till it in. Uh, it does really good. And then again, I'll be putting leaves and hay and grass and things like that on there. And, uh, but just any kind of a good all natural soil amendment is going to help your garden for next year. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. Uh, oh, Hey, I ate some okra. I, I picked some okra and I cooked it. It was really good. Um, you know, again, if you guys know a, a really cool way of cooking it, let me know in the comments. But, uh, yeah, I really liked it. I wish I'd have planted more. So maybe we'll look at that the next video. So, all right, well, I'll let you guys go. Hey, have a good night.